getting fuel this morning gonna go get the nine and bring it home and then it's gotta go out to Arco anyway check out that Turby you know every time I post this stuff on cat engine masters I get so much crap and it comes from just a handful of guys and they call me idiots and hillbillies and stupid and flatlanders and it's like you know if I see a picture of a truck with twin turbos and it's all douched up or triple you know I just go hey that's cool uh, but why would you not think this is cool looks good works why can't people just be happy with what somebody else does why can't you compliment them on a, a job well done why do you just always got to criticize I guess it's always easy to, easier to take the low road and criticize somebody than just be happy for them but anyway it's early morning it's a great day and you know what that's a cool looking turbo <laughs> so we have to keep a mileage and a fuel log to satisfy the state of Idaho and uh, our licenses are based on uh, how many miles a year you run so we put down the trip description fuel the odometer uh, axles and the reason I put axles is because uh, I have three different permits from the state annual overweight permits and I have to report my overweight mileage I have to pay a tax on that and then I write down the miles that I went that way we can prove how many miles uh, a year we run I license uh, under actual mileage uh, they do let some out you know you can estimate to and I don't know exactly how that works because I use the actual mileage so a lot of people have asked me about my permit so Idaho sells an annual permit so I have a permit I'm pulling the big trailer today the Murray Omega so I'm an eight axle setup if I'm loaded I put the number of axles and then I'll uh, over here I'll put what equipment I'm hauling because then I know what weight category I'm at so I have a permit for eight axles and then that breaks down into like geez louise five or six different weight categories then I have a permit like if I take the Jeep off I lose two axles so now I'm down to six axles so there's another permit so and then that has like several different weight categories for six then I have a seven axle permit and that's the Jeep dolly setup and then I have several weight categories for that so what I do is I write in here the equipment and then I circle it and then I put the axles down that way when I come back through to figure out my quarterly overweight miles so I can pay my my ton mill tax and I see the circled ones and the number of axles I know that's a loaded uh, mileage and so then I total all that up but it keeps it makes it so that you can prove how many miles you run otherwise they could say you're lying and they could bump you up into a weight category that would cost you a fortune or I mean a mileage category so that's why I do this I've, I've been audited before I had pretty good records I think they sent me a bill for $67 uh, they figured just going through my records I'd miss that much mileage or something anyway the joys of driving a truck if it was only like a car you just got in it turned the key and went it would just be awesome <laughs>
every time. It's just, God, it's unbelievable. It's going to drive 30 miles an hour.
rubber thing. Yeah. Yeah. Lose my flag and my rubber. Don't lose my rubber. Uh, dated September 11th, 2019. You see that there More is flag. a change requiring primary care providers to.